Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the fascinating glass catfish. Glass catfish, also known as ghost catfish, is a popular freshwater aquarium fish known for its transparent body. They make a great addition to a community aquarium, especially one that is densely planted. However, their transparent body can make them more susceptible to stress and injury. They are among the more delicate fishes out there, and here is everything you should know about them to keep these beautiful fish successfully. Natural Habitat Glass catfish are native to the freshwater rivers and streams of Southeast Asia, particularly in the Mekong and Chao Phraya river basins. They can be found in a variety of habitats, including fast-moving currents, still waters, and murky or turbid waters. Glass catfish are typically found in groups, often swimming close to the surface or in the middle of the water column, and they are known to be most active during the night. Physical Description Glass catfish have a near-transparent body, which allows you to see their internal organs, spine, and bones. Their body is elongated and slender, with a slightly flattened-out belly and forked tail. They have a pair of long, barb-like whiskers or feelers protruding from their snout, which they use to sense their surroundings and locate food. Glass catfish have large, expressive eyes that are set forward on their head, giving them excellent vision. They lack scales, but do have a protective layer of mucus that covers their skin. Glass catfish can grow up to 4 inches in length, with females being slightly larger than males. They have a delicate appearance, and their transparent body gives them a unique and fascinating appearance. Ideal Tank Setup When setting up a tank for glass catfish, it's important to mimic their natural habitat while also providing them with plenty of hiding places and low-stress environment. Here are some key considerations for creating an ideal tank setup for glass catfish. Tank size. Glass catfish are relatively small fish, but they're active swimmers and need plenty of space to move around. A tank that is at least 20 gallons in size is recommended for a small school of glass catfish. Substrate and decor. Glass catfish prefer a sandy or fine graded substrate. Lighting. Glass catfish are sensitive to bright light, so provide subdued lighting in their tank. Water parameters. Glass catfish can be finicky, and maintaining good water quality is essential to keep them healthy and stress-free. Here are some ideal water parameters for glass catfish. Temperature, 72 degrees Fahrenheit to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 22 degrees Celsius to 26 degrees Celsius. pH, 6.5 to 7.5. A hardness of 2 to 15 dGH. Slightly soft to moderately hard water. Ammonia and nitrate, 0 parts per million. Nitrate less than 20 parts per million. Monitor the water parameters regularly using a test kit and make adjustments when needed. Water changes should be performed regularly, usually every one to two weeks, to maintain good water quality. When performing water changes, be sure to use a dechlorinator to neutralize any chlorine or chlorminates in the tap water. Providing good filtration and surface agitation is also necessary. Diet Glass catfish are omnivores that will eat a variety of foods in the wild, including small insects, crustaceans, and small fish, as well as algae and other plant matter. In an aquarium setting, providing them with a varied and balanced diet that meets their nutritional needs is important. Here are some dietary recommendations for glass catfish. High-quality commercial foods, live and frozen foods, and plant matter. Make sure to feed glass catfish small, frequent meals throughout the day. Feed only what your fish can eat in a few minutes and remove any uneaten food from the tank. Behavior and Tank Mates Glass catfish are peaceful and social fish. They're active swimmers and spend much of their time swimming in schools, often near the surface of the water. Here are some common behaviors you may observe in glass catfish. Schooling Behavior Glass catfish are social fish that prefer to swim in schools of at least six to eight individuals. This is quite a sight to behold. Nocturnal Activity Glass catfish are more active at night and will often come to feeding during the evening and early morning hours. Hiding Behavior Glass catfish are somewhat shy and will appreciate plenty of hiding places, such as driftwood and plants. They may retreat to these hiding places if they feel threatened or stressed. Jumping Behavior Glass catfish are known to be jumpers and can leap out of the water if they feel threatened or stressed. Provide a secure lid on the aquarium to prevent them from jumping out. Glass catfish are peaceful fish that can be kept with a variety of other community fish species. Some great options include tetras, guppies and platies, Corydoras catfish, dwarf cichlids, rasboras, danios, and small rainbow fish. Avoid keeping glass catfish with aggressive or predatory fish such as cichlids or predatory catfish. Breeding 
Breeding glass catfish in an aquarium can be challenging as they require specific water conditions and a specialized breeding setup. Breeding these fish is only for the really experienced hobbyists. If you really want to breed these fish, following these steps will get the best results. Set up a separate breeding tank that is at least 20 gallons with a gentle filtration system. Lower the temperature by 2 degrees to simulate the rainy season. Feed them a high-protein diet. Glass catfish will typically begin spawning in early morning hours after a period of courtship. During spawning, the female will lay her eggs on the underside of the broad leaves or other surfaces and the male will fertilize them. After spawning, remove the adult fish from the breeding tank, as they may eat the eggs. The eggs will hatch in 1-2 to two days, and the fry will become free-swimming after 3-4 to four days. At this point, they can be fed small amounts of baby brine shrimp or other appropriate fry foods. Diseases Glass catfish are generally hardy and disease-resilient fish when kept in appropriate conditions. However, like all other fish, they are susceptible to certain diseases and health issues. Here are some common diseases that can affect glass catfish. Ick or white spot disease, fin rot, fungal infections, or swim bladder disorder. Preventing diseases in glass catfish involves maintaining good water quality, providing a balanced and nutritious diet, and avoiding overstocking the aquarium. So, to sum it up, glass catfish are a unique and fascinating species that can make a great addition to a community aquarium. They're peaceful, active, and can be kept with a variety of other peaceful fish species. However, they require specific water conditions and a suitable tank setup to thrive. When properly cared for, glass catfish can live for several years and provide a beautiful and engaging display in your aquarium. As with any fish species, be aware of their care requirements before bringing them into your home and be prepared to provide the specialized care these stunning fish need to stay healthy and happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to tap that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will see you in the next video.